mind. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. We're just gearing up. Waiting on everybody to join in. There we go. Come on down. We got a gorgeous day here in Maui, Hawaii. Let's check it out. A little bit of wave action. But it is pretty. Oh, yeah. Thanks for joining, guys. Come on down. Welcome, welcome. We're just getting the rest of our stuff put together here. We got Matt, myself, Lance. What's up, everyone? Brittany's in the truck there. Yeah, you just had foot surgery yesterday. You needed this? Well, I'm glad we could be here for you today. So we, uh, we're we getting ready to take you guys out. You're not at the same place. Uh, same place as what? Not sure which, which one you mean, but we're here. Very beautiful. Oh, I know it's gorgeous out, guys. So those of you that are just tuning in, make sure you stay here because we're getting ready to take you live stream scuba diving on this gorgeous reef right out here, way out in the water there. So we went ahead and popped on live, let everybody kind of join while we get all of our gear put together. And then this is us right here. So we have our kits all assembled, getting ready to take you guys scuba diving. So if you've never seen the beautiful Hawaii wheat reef, Today's your day. I love this. My favorite live stream. Oh, that's super phenomenal. I would love that. It's my favorite too. Matt says it's his favorite also. Um, so, uh, <laughs> can you guys go deep enough to see dolphins? You know, sadly, there's not many dolphins that run along this coast here. They're usually on that other island over there. We get them here on occasion, but uh, not very often, actually. Not very often at all. They're usually... Um, on the back sides of the islands because they like the deeper water also because that's where all their food is. So it's very, 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 very rare you're gonna see dolphins in this area. There's no way I'm putting on. <laughs> Your wetsuit? Yeah, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> no, that, that, nobody's, I can't do you that. You can't do that? <laughs> I, can rinse I know it's quick. small up here because of the roosters. It is. Look at my wetsuit. I can't put that on. It's all like sandy and cold looking. No. <laughs> but hi guys. Hi everybody. Um, we just went out and did an awesome dive uh, with Dawn and some students from her classroom. And I was really excited because Mama Cita is out there. So we're hoping we're going to see her when we head back out again. Um, I honestly don't think we would have done a second dive today because conditions are pretty rough out there. But because Mama Cita's out there and I know you guys want to see her and you miss her so much, uh, we're going to get you guys out there for a quick dive. There were a lot of turtles out there um, and our favorite non-pregnant shark. So yeah, we're going to get you out. Go take a look around for Mamacita. There was also a gigantic shark cuddle party happening this morning. So we are hoping to find those guys. There were about five adolescent sharks all having little snuggles. Um, where on Maui are you? We are on the west side of Maui. Um, did you see Sister Sita? Yes, I'm pretty sure we did. Um, and if you guys are new to the live, we dive this site a lot, all the time. This is our most number one dive site and we love it because we know the animals here so well. A lot of the turtles are the same turtles. Almost all the sharks are the same sharks that we see. Um, and Mama Sita, it was our resident, very large female white tip reef shark who hangs out here. She's close to six feet in length. Um, and she's also been pregnant for the past couple of months, very long. Um, and we haven't seen her in a couple of weeks and we've been, you know, worried about her because she's our favorite shark. Uh, and then on top of it, everyone's been wondering if she had her babies. So we did find her today. She does look a little um, eman emaciated, um, just a little skinny, but that's to be expected for a shark who is as heavily pregnant as she was. Um, she probably wasn't eating as much and she was very large. So she had a lot of pups. Uh, she was hanging out with another shark this morning who looked pretty chonky compared to her. So if she's still with that other shark, keep in mind that the chonky shark is not Mamacita. Mamacita is the very skinny shark. Um, 
but uh, she did have her babies. Uh, there are tiny little shark pups roaming around. And keep in mind that these white tip reef shark pups are born live. And on top of them being born live, they do not stay with mama. So they are kind of out swimming around with their, their instincts. Um, <laughs> so we are gonna try to find her. There were also dozens of turtles out there today. I mean, dozens, there are so many turtles. I see quite a few dive flags out there right now, which means there's gonna be a few divers out there. Um, visibility when we initially get out uh, this morning, it was about 10 foot visibility and it cleared up to what, what would you say, like 30 feet? Definitely 30 feet. Yeah. We love Mamacita. I know, we need to make a Mamacita shirt. Um, we are actually right in Lahaina, like directly in Lahaina. So, <laughs> um, we're in Lahaina. And then just to remind you guys, we only have two more weeks left in Hawaii. So stick around. We're going to try and get as many dives in as possible with you. And then we will be diving in Mexico. I will have that interactive map up today. So you guys can start helping us pick the next place we're going to go to. I know Lance and I are already talking about Egypt or Okinawa or Bali even um, for getting you guys out for our next dive location after Mexico and those waves look no fun. <laughs> uh, keep in mind, thanks for all the love you guys. Um, conditions are not super great out there. We're going to keep this dive a little shorter. We will be underwater for between 45 and 60 minutes today. And our main goal is to get you guys out there saying hi to Mamacita. Um, we are going to start in Mexico uh, in Cozumel area. Maybe go to Cancun and Baja and some other places. I would love, love, love in the next couple of months to get you guys out live streaming with some great whites um, and to do some of those dives. I'm going to hand this off. All right, Matt, you mind giving her a hand? Just picking that guy up. Huh? Yeah. Matt, you want to take this guy? Go ahead and show him uh, some of these wave actions. Sure. I mean, uh, a little bit more rough than it was earlier, but I'm not worried about it. Uh, we are going to take you guys live underwater. We're definitely the only people, at least on TikTok, who do this live. I'm going to tell you too. Thank you. So, again, those of you guys that are just joining in, we're getting ready to take you guys live streaming. So we have our underwater phone case here. This is how what we're going to put you guys in so we can go ahead and read the comments. And then we don't have our con mask, but it should be the new one. So exciting, should be here in about two days. Until then, we got the nice whiteboard. So we'll be able to go ahead and talk to you guys while we're underwater. So super awesome. Well, right, let's try for 100,000 likes before we go under. That'll be phenomenal. Also, go ahead and share this video, tap the screen. Help us do all the fun stuff with our algorithms, guys. This is, uh, we need your help with that. Uh, we can't do it. Uh, we want to get this live stream pushed out to as many people as possible because we all know this is pretty pretty epic out here. Uh, what's your question? Love to answer it. Let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see. 10 to 15 minutes from now. Yeah, we should be dropping right about there. Uh, it's going to be a little bit slow going out just because of these wave. Uh, I think it'll be easy getting out. It's going to be hard getting Loves life so much. Is a turtle in distress? Can you help them? Ideally not. We Typic did today. Yeah, there was a turtle I was wrapped up in somebody's dive flag. So. It wasn't super oh. wrapped up though. Uh, we've talked about this before. You don't want to untangle turtles that have been highly wrapped up in fishing net. You do want to call somebody and do what you can to make sure they can breathe. Because a lot of times if that circulation has been cut off for a long time, um, if by unwrapping the cord, you could be releasing toxins into the turtle's limbs. This turtle was not very wrapped up. Uh, <laughs> it had obviously like just gotten a little bit tangled in some yeah. dive flag. So we, we helped out, you know, just don't touch the turtle as best Do possible. Not touch the turtle. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get you guys in the dive case, your bottom clip, just so you know is that. Uh, yep, and then, uh, Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, all this stuff is so heavy. I mean, you guys can see this is Brittany and her her kit, and now she's gonna go put in her weight. So if you you think this is heavy, now we gotta add weight to it, <laughs> purposely. <laughs> yeah, tap that screen until you see some confetti. Uh, okay, it's this like half as much as I uh, probably yeah, probably a little bit more than that even. <laughs> uh, this dive, I don't know. We're probably gonna be 50, 60 minutes. We're gonna kind of gauge it based off conditions out there. Uh, we'll see, you know, once we get out there what it's like. Uh, it's real hard to tell. Uh, 
from here. So we'll venture off. We can tell current's strong because the boats are. Um, we were just out there. Yep, because we were just out there, but we can tell the current's still strong because the boats are getting pushed this way. Normally they're sitting right over the dive side on their moorings. So I'm going to get you guys into this phone case. So there's going to be quite a bit of shaking. Here we go. Jostle, jostle. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and close. It's going to sound a little bit more muffled now, guys. Yep. And then let me get this off. There we are. Glory. And then there's going to be a little bit. Are you going to record the dive? Um, so TikTok records the dives for us. I just download the entire live off TikTok and we actually post it on YouTube. Um, so what we're doing now is connecting our internet cord, this bad boy right here, so that we can live stream underwater. Um, we're jostling. dive today we did a classroom dive this morning and conditions are pretty rough um, especially with the buoy that we drag around with us but I internally freaked out when I found Mama Sita and I need to get you guys out there to hopefully see her with us hopefully she's still there resting away um, so yeah that's why we're we're heading back out into this uh, back into the abyss. <laughs> strong strong current <laughs> yes. Yay! Oh, and hi, Allison! <laughs> Love the scuba pro fins! Aren't they amazing? On a day like today when the current is brutal, uh, those fins really come in handy. <laughs> uh, they're very helpful. Um, just be careful, Lance, because I don't walk as fast as you. Um, how warm is the water? Um, it is not as warm as I would like it to be. Um, we're just getting out of winter, so water temperature is about 76 degrees today. Um, in the height of summer, the water temperature is about 83 degrees. So it doesn't seem like a huge difference, but when you're in water, um, it's, a, it's a pretty big difference. Um, Aloha, thank you so much. Um, she's probably, um, so Mama Sita is not pregnant anymore. Um, she has had her babies. She's looking very skinny. Uh, she, have, uh, she was hanging out with a larger shark um, when I found her this morning. So hopefully she's still with that shark so I can point out how, how skinny she is. Um, I don't think she was able to eat as much while she was pregnant. It was probably a lot harder for her to hunt. And she just gave birth to, I'm sure, multiple pups. So she's next to a very chonky <laughs> white tip. So it made her look even even tinier. Um, and then the babies themselves are really small. I haven't seen any white tips small enough to be her babies. But if we do spot any, it's almost a guarantee that they are they are going to be hers. Um, I didn't. I have not seen any other pregnant white tips in this area and we dive here <laughs> oh gosh a lot <laughs> but I would love to see some baby sharks I did find a very young adolescent shark this morning um, probably about two feet a foot and a half long uh, but I don't think it was young enough to be one of her pups um, I actually think her pups are going to be much smaller than that maybe what do you think the smallest like a foot uh, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I do know some of the little hidey holes, the super small baby sharks like the hide in. I've seen them there like last year. So I will take a look for you guys. But keep in mind, conditions today are not good. <laughs> we have a really strong current uh, and some really poor visibility. So we actually probably won't even be able to do 
a full long dive like normal. We're going to be blowing through our oxygen today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, just trying to fight the current that's out here. Um, also, are usually about two feet long. I've seen them a lot smaller. Um, I found some really small white tips out here, but it might depend on the size of the parent um, and how long they were pregnant. If you guys did not know, um, white tip reef sharks can actually kind of determine their pregnancy and they can stay pregnant much longer if they want to. So um, I would assume if they stayed pregnant longer, they would be giving birth to some chunky long babies. Um, I have no idea how long Mama Sita was pregnant for. If I had to, I'm, she, it looked like she was probably mating right around mating season of, you know, last year and then gave birth right about now, which is a normal gestation period. Whew. The pups do not stay with their mama. They immediately leave her <laughs> um, and they're on their own swimming around, hunting little fishies, and um, you do see them here at Mala once in a while. I have seen shark pups, but it's very uncommon because the bigger sharks, uh, they could be prey for the bigger sharks um, if they aren't quick enough. So they will tend to stay away from where all the other white tips are hanging out, but I, it's not unheard of to see shark pups here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, liking and commenting. Uh, this is a very shallow dive, you guys. Our max depth will be about 30 to 35 feet. It is low tide, so I'm going to stick more with like 30 feet. Woo, and it's very low tide. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we are just starting. Thanks for all the little hashtags and love and likes. And we're almost out there, guys. I'm sorry. It always takes us a minute to... Um, <laughs> get you under the water. Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, you guys don't even have to actually like share the link. If you can just hit share and copy, that helps helps these algorithms out a ton. But if you did want to share it, that'd be awesome. Ah. There I go. Hi. Let me just fall. <laughs> yeah. Say hi to everybody. Alright. Okay, I'll get this with me. Hey, uh, yeah, please take a minute to do that. So we can uh, go ahead and spread the word on this amazing dive opportunity that we put together for everybody here. So, super, super excited to be able to bring these live streams to you guys. <clears throat> all right. All right, Miss Don, have you all what? Share the live. Thank you for sharing. Are they done? No, we are not. We're just going. Oh, it's carrying us right out. You don't even have to swim. Yeah, okay. So my dive. <laughs> Alright, you wanna get out of here? Yeah, you wanna take that guy from the Yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> How far from the shore do you go out? Uh, I think I could show you. So if you can see that post way out there. Uh, a little past that. So not super far. Um, oh jeez. Very low tide. Um, normally we're out here and it is much deeper, <laughs> but not only is it low tide, but you have these uh, waves in. Um, we are using 80s, thank you whoever answered that. Um, you did not miss the dive, we are just starting you guys. Um, I will let you guys know though, we're only going to be underwater for 45 to 60 minutes. We're going to kind of go out, look for some of our favorite local residences. Um, that being like Mama Sita, some of the smaller shark pups. Um, and then there is our favorite white mouth moray eel that we saw this morning. So we will keep an eye out for him. Um, <laughs> just go deep enough to float. <laughs> you did make it in time. Um, we are headed out. Mama Sita has had her babies. That has been the topic of conversation all morning. Uh, we actually saw her this morning. We did a private dive this morning um, and we bumped into Mama Sita and I was fangirl screaming underwater because I feel like she's our little celebrity on these lives and we have not seen her in weeks. So I was super, super excited to bump into her. 
We are going out and doing the second dive specifically to go look for our mamacita. Um, have you all seen any weird creatures? I swear, I think the creatures that live on land are like way weirder. <laughs> like sat outside for a minute last night and there's a centipede walking around and I'm like, no, no, I'm good. Oh yeah, there's underwater too. Seems no, like. we don't. Like no, centipedes. we just pretend like they're not centipedes. Though. What are you talking about? Um, what is Mama Sita? Mama Sita is our favorite shark. Our favorite shark that hangs out in this spot. Um, I would also love it if everybody, especially if you're in our Discord and can write in there, um, could help us come up with the name. I'm sure if you guys have watched our lives, you know what I'm talking about. Is that nice, big uh, white mouth moray. It's about four feet long that we see on like half our dives here at Mala. It's the same moray, but he definitely needs a name. So I can let you guys know. A fireworm is not a centipede, Kara. Level of chill. <laughs> um, we are just getting started. We are just many. <laughs> so we need we need good names, guys. Mr. Murray. <laughs> Mr. Murray. <laughs> uh, this is this dive is for all the Mama Sita groups. Pretty much. <laughs> Mama Sita's got her own little her own little Discord going. Just kidding. <laughs> That's all people care about in the Discord. Did you see Mama Sita? That's fine. Uh, no. yeah, All right. Brittany's going to go ahead and get her mask on while she's doing that. I'm going to go ahead and drop under, see how our connection is. So stand by, guys. Here we go. All right, we got it. Looks good. Great. Perfect. All right. We got low visibility and a little bit of a current, guys. So let's do this. Let's we... do it. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the reel ready. Get our air ready. <laughs> oh, and we should have caught masks again this week, you guys. Are there ever be? Oh, so uh, you're kind of wrapped up here. Of course I am. Oh, yay, there's so many good names. Oh, if any of our mods are able to screenshot any of these, I would love you forever. There Thanks, Kara. Dive, dive, dive. We got
Bello, bello, 
Thank <laughs> you. 
Last part. So gross. Oh. I Hold on, guys. <laughs> that was a great day. It was awesome. Oh, that zebra eel you found was so cool, Matt. Thank you. What? No. No, we didn't. Hi. Hello. Hey. How's it going? We were just talking about belly diving. Like it's funny. <laughs> Hi, babe. Yeah, yeah. It's so cute. That's so funny. She's uh works at belly diving. That's enough fish puns you need to tune it down. That's enough fish puns, Douglas. It said that's enough fish puns you need to tune it down. <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. I was like, wait, that one was. Oh my god. Good one. <laughs> Um, oh, that was a great time. We had Mama Sita. So that shark that's with Mama Sita, I've never seen her before. Um, and you guys saw her the other day, I think. Yeah, yeah, we saw. I'm pretty sure it might have been even Mama that we saw, but I don't know. Really? It was. Yeah. I think so. Yes, we did. Um, I'm gonna get these cords off. Um, but Sister Sita. Um, but yeah, she's new, and you can kind of tell she's new. She's a little skittish with us. Um, so Mama Sita, you could tell, like, did not care. <laughs> I could have gotten, like, cuddled her or laid down right next to her, and she does not care. <laughs> um, and then, of course, I'm trying to look for Spicy Shark down in that cave. I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure this one's Spicy Shark. No, and then he's like, excuse me, excuse me, that is the wrong shark. And he, like, came right at the camera again. <laughs> What's the difference between a piano and a fish? Piano and a fish. Yeah, <laughs> you can't tune a fish. <laughs> um, that puffer fish was super funny. He was like following us around for a minute. I was like, they're so funny with their big eyes. <laughs> no, he was all about it. I know. <laughs> when we first saw him, he was like, I'm way cooler than that eel. <laughs> um, I'm obsessed with their smiles. I know they're so cute. Um, and sometimes those puffer fish are just really curious and they'll kind of hang out with you for a while. Sometimes they're not, so it just depends on the fish. 
Um, I've never seen that one at this site before. There's a couple of different puffers, porcupine puffers that we see here. They're a little lighter in color, a little bigger. Uh, this one was kind of small, a little darker. Um, and he was new. So there's some, uh, are there any more dives today? I don't think so. Um, it is almost noon and we have about an hour drive home. We're all starving too. And then our kids are getting off school um, and conditions aren't great. Um, they definitely cleared up a little bit, but we're going to put uh, a little more hope in tomorrow being a little bit nicer. Uh, that current was really strong. This was our second dive today, so we're all pretty exhausted. We've all been up since like 6 o'clock this morning. Um, I would make him walk the plankton for that. Judy! <laughs> also, I think tomorrow's the day we're going to have Lance utilize his new present from Jody. <laughs> I think it'll be fine tomorrow. <laughs> what a just I'm missing so many of these. Um, <laughs> but thank you guys so much. That we did um a private dive this morning, uh, and then we came right back out. This is our second dive. Conditions are pretty rough. We have a nice strong current. Uh, visibility did clear up a little bit. There were so many honus out there. So many. Uh, so many turtles, you guys. And then on top of it, there was just um, quite a lot going on with the sharks. We had that big old shark cuddle party. There were actually Bye -bye. six sharks in there. Bye -bye. Have so much fun. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Um, I'm missing so much right now. Yeah, no, there were so many turtles. Um, <laughs> we love you guys, too. Um, and then there was that big old shark cuddle party. There were actually six sharks in there, and that was a banded coral shrimp, which is like a, a cleaner shrimp, hanging out there with those sharks. And that shrimp was actually normally there in that spot. Um, next Tuesday is World Turtle Day. Is it? World Turtle Day next Tuesday. Let's yes. Go. Yes, it is. Um, <laughs> and thanks for all the love, you guys. And especially Jody, thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. Um, like the gifts help so much, um, just with gear and expenses and all of that. I mean, we would love to get to a point where we're making like enough money to pay some of our bills <laughs> on top of just all this crazy gear we got to buy for the stream. Um, but they help a lot, whether it's through like Patreon or here on TikTok and stuff like that. And then more than anything, just your comments and your questions, your shares, your enthusiasm. All of that, you guys, means so, so much to us to see everybody getting so amped and so excited and falling in love with the ocean. Um, I feel like you gain a new respect for the ocean when you spend a lot of time in it. Um, and I feel like when we go out with you guys, you're, you're diving with us. So I think not only are you guys learning a lot, but you're gaining this like familiar, 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 I can't, I can't. <laughs> and love and love. We're just going to go with that um, of this like awesome place that's not as scary as you thought it was. So um, we love bringing the ocean to you guys. I can't wait to start traveling. Uh, there's no way I can say it now. I'm on trip now. So you guys can see oceans from all over the world. Uh, and we can experience all these new things together. We've definitely spent a lot of time in the water, but think of all the amazing animals we get to see. Um, and reefs and all the different things we can do to help say it. Um, I don't want to say that for you, Allison. Say it. You read the pin for me. Oh, it went away. Analytics. Analytics? What? Analytics. Don't. Analytics. It is not. That is not how you say that. <laughs> I did not pin that. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone wants to see you dance out of the water, Lance. I got a lot in my hand, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Look out, it's a big wave. <laughs> oh my god. Have you been to Captain Hook on the Big Island? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, actually, oh, God, 
I know I'm getting sucked out. Wait, I can see that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, the Big Island diving is something like my favorite diving in the whole world. Um, we're going to talk about traveling. Yes, Carly. Also, hi, Carly. We love you. Um, so we have about 15 more days left in Hawaii. If you guys didn't know, we've been doing our live streams out here for the past year um, underwater. But I've also pretty much uh, spent my entire life out here in Maui. Um, we had decided well before we started TikTok that we were going to save up a bunch of money, homeschool kids and travel. Um, it's been something I've been wanting to do my whole life. Uh, so we are taking off in 15 days and we are going to travel the world. Um, Kara, myself, Lance, I know Matt will be joining as much as possible, <laughs> um, my, my children. Um, and we're going to be live streaming dives from all over the world. We could really use your input on places to go. Um, so today's the day we're finally linking our um, map um, to our Discord group. So if you guys want to kind of start putting your input in on different places to travel to and scuba dive. Um, that, that is a military plane and it is flying solo. <laughs> um, so we are going to start off in Mexico. Uh, we have no idea how long we're going to be there for. We could be there for a month or two. We could be there for six months. It depends on how good the diving is. Um, and then after that, we aren't sure. I mean, it could be um, somewhere else in the Caribbean or Central America. We could go to Japan or Egypt or Bali, Philippines, Bonaire. There's so many places. Um, but as long as we can stream, you guys are coming with us every day. We're going to go explore. <laughs> every day. Every day, we'll be out in the water. With you guys, get you to some new dive sites instead of Red Hill and Mala over and over again. Um, <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, that that's a problem. That's a big problem. Hold on, that don't go any. <laughs> Very large wave for me. Um, <laughs> stop it, just because I'm short, Matt. That might like, hit you in the chest. Okay, I am five foot two inches. Like that would have gone right over my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, Don, that was so, so much fun for me. I was actually so excited I could kind of hear everything that was going on um, because I could hear how excited they were getting about stuff. We did a live dive for a classroom today uh, for third grade. And it was so special to me. That's something like I really want to get down and focus in on is uh, children and education and um, having the opportunity, thanks to Dawn, to just get to work with uh, kids for a dive was really fun. I really wish we had our calm masks so they could have, you know, heard how excited I get about stuff. Uh, but it was really cool because I could hear them when we were underwater, and it was like the cutest thing. Um, I love you too, Shet. Yeah, the last, if you guys didn't know, I'm an author. My last book is actually, um, oh God, it should be out so soon. But we have been editing it. Um, if you have read it, though, actually, Trisha, you should get at me. I can send you a PDF and you can beta read it for me. <laughs> Let's start uh, helping me finish up with that whole process. <laughs> and then find out what happens before it's published. Thank you. I just had to drag me in. Let's see if she gets stuck back out. <laughs> I wasn't, I, mean, I wasn't swimming very hard no, I know. in my defense. Was, I was just kind of like, it's just cool watching the wave take you. And then, uh, picking. Oh, I gotta, I gotta just try to run back. Yeah, so love the beta. Yay! Um, Trisha, Trisha, I'm trying to think. Um, can you email? Mm, I'm trying to think if you can email me. It's like the easiest way. There's the link in our bio with my email, and I can email a PDF. Or I just wish I could get it on like Kindle for you. Well, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> if I don't fall going in right now, I swear. Danza bar would be so cool. Oh, there's, I mean, honestly, though, we just want to go everywhere we possibly can in the whole world. 
Um, so, start giving us ideas. We got to pick our next spot uh, in the next two weeks, actually, because we need to know where we're going to be going after Mexico. Uh, and we leave for Mexico in two weeks. I also spoke with Kara. Greece, oh, trust me, Greece and Italy are like top, top of my bucket list. Oh, there you go. <laughs> How would you, were you out there just snorkeling? Yeah, just like, yeah. Just like, oh, you have a sea life, Did you see, um, oh, well, you were snorkeling. There's a big old shark snuggle party down there. Really? Where? Yes, down in that first ledge, like midway through. Oh. Big sharks in there, like living their best snuggle life. It's my favorite. Oh, <laughs> I love it so much. And this is Bonnie. Hi. Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> I was like writing about Maui diving underwater and that was like a couple of minutes before we saw you. So that worked out great. <laughs> um, everyone say Monica, Monica says hi. <laughs> um, I'm sorry we aren't doing any more dives today you guys. That's a pretty rough current. Uh, we've been out here since pretty early this morning. Um, and again, a huge thank you to Dawn. I know you guys weren't there for it because it was a private dive. Um, but if you know of anybody who's a teacher, a principal, or has connections um, in any schools, uh, feel free to uh, give them our page info and tell them I would absolutely love, or homeschooled, uh, love to uh, chat with them. Um, I would really enjoy doing private dives a couple of times a month for the um, schools or children and I don't know it was it's a really fun idea especially if these kids don't get to get into the ocean as much as my kids do um hello Maui diving yes call Maui diving for all your diving needs uh, <laughs> no they're my favorite shop you guys honestly like we just hang out and they're all the time <laughs> Uh, we just enjoy things from them and get all our like scuba gear. Uh, but they do tours. I don't do tours. So if you guys would like a tour when you're coming to Hawaii, they are great. Um, yes, my longest dive on one tank was 115 minutes. And honestly, that was cutting it at like the 500 PSI mark. So an emergency stitch, which you're not supposed to do. Sure, we could have gone a little longer, um, but I'm really good on my air, you guys. Um, especially when we're in these shallow depths. Uh, we're very shallow on like today's dives, so you can make those t uh, tanks of air last for a really long time. <laughs> uh, and it does depend, yeah, so um, the tanks are going to last, um, it's different per person, it depends on your depth. Uh, that's going to have, it's going to be a huge influence on how long your air lasts. Uh, another thing is like your weight, uh, even your sex, whether you're a male or a female, and how big your lungs are. Um, and then again, some people are just really good on their air. It depends on how you control your breathing uh, when you're underwater. So even when you're like heavily... Oh, hi! <laughs> Nurse, wait for me. guys now we gotta walk up with all this stuff those were great dives though oh yeah back to the schools so if you guys do know anybody um we have a link in our bio with my email i would love it you could get our info out i would absolutely adore working with more kids um and getting them to fall in love with the ocean and sharing all the sea puppies and turtles and all that good stuff Whew. That was rough. Oh no, Cameron! <laughs> uh, no, that was our second dive today. We're pretty beat. Um, and conditions are interesting. Uh, they were pretty bad this morning. They've actually gotten a little bit better. But it is rough out there. That was two pretty physically exhausting dives. Yeah. They definitely make you uh, get a little winded trying to fight that current coming in. and. I'm going out a little bit. You saw how long that, that kick back in kind of took. Because it sucks, yeah. That little rip current outside. Uh-huh. Carrie says, we appreciate you. I love you. 
Sydney says she loves you. Buy your plane tickets. Yeah, she said buy your plane tickets. <laughs> Wish I was teaching this year, took the year off. So the currents change, huh? Uh, the strength of the currents absolutely change. There's many different factors from what's happened, you know, storms out in the water, wind, all that fun stuff. Uh, I'm going to get you guys out of the case. Uh, then we don't have to yell as loud for you to hear us. Um, hello. Let me set this down. I just yell at you. <laughs> hello. Uh, I'm sorry, we've been really bad too at getting events posted and honestly, we just have a lot going on, you guys. Uh, we're moving off island in 15 days. We have kids. Uh, we've got all this TikTok stuff going on and then we have weather. So it's this like crazy situation of factors. Um, we haven't had a lot of great dive days or we've had a few here and there. But we've had some interesting weather over the past couple of months which has prevented us from like always sticking to dive plans. Plus we're trying to sell an entire house, um, you know, and then Kara just left. She just finally moved. She went ahead of me. Um, <laughs> um, so we're going to be going to Mexico uh, June 1st. We should be live streaming our dives there with you by June 10th or so. Um, so we are going to need a little bit of a window to get things set up um, and ready to go. Um, we don't know how long we're going to be in Mexico. It'll be less than six months. <laughs> uh, there's quite, you know, there's a few of us going. Um, it could be a month or two. And if the streaming and the diving isn't what we need um, for to do these live streams, then we're going to kind of move on to the next best place. And from there, we aren't really sure. We do need to pick a place in the next two weeks. Um, so we do need to figure out in the next two weeks where we will be going after Mexico. Um, so, I mean, it could be anywhere. It could be Roatan, it could be Bonaire, it could be Egypt, Philippines, Japan. Um, we aren't really sure yet. <laughs> uh, Argentina. I wonder how the diving in is in Argentina. Um, first time I've seen them out of the water. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we are going to be leaving Hawaii. Um, uh, fairly permanently, so we'll be nomads and just kind of traveling um, around the world. Um, but we'll be back in Hawaii for sure. This is our home, so we'll come back. We'll be doing dives here. We have friends here, family here. Um, Grand Cayman. Oh, that's probably a really good idea to look into too. Anybody lives in these areas? Um, are you originally from Hawaii? No, I was born in California. I moved to Hawaii when I was really small, super young. Um, and I just grew up out here as a kid and a teenager, and then I've spent all of my adult years out here. So, I mean, <laughs> my whole life, can't really say I'm from Hawaii. I'm about as healthy as it gets, uh, but I have lived here, you know, my whole life. Um, what do you do with your things while you're gone? We're selling absolutely everything we own, getting rid of it all, and everybody has a backpack. We have a suitcase for dive gear and live stream stuff, and then everybody gets like one of those um, hikers, dice backpack, travel backpacks. Uh, so we all get like bathroom supplies and clothes and whatever you can fit in your backpack. So that's how we're gonna travel. Um, do you guys get sleepy or really thirsty after dives? Great question, Kiki. We're starving, absolutely starving. Uh, we don't really get tired after the dives. We get what we call a dive high. Um, so we get out of the water and you get really um, energized and you're very excited. There's a lot of endorphins going off. Um, so I think you're sleepier before the dive. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're always super, super, super hungry when we get out of the water. It could be one dive or three dives. Like I will smash multiple burgers. Um, eat the wild chickens. I don't think you should do that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so the boys are going to finish uh, getting everything put away. We're all going to get these wetsuits off. We're tired. Like I said, we've been up and at it for about six hours now. Um, we're going to go find some food and start getting ready for dives tomorrow. Um, we do want to get you guys out on one or two, just a couple more night dives before uh, we leave Hawaii. Um, I do know there are night dives in Cozumel and elsewhere, elsewhere around the world. Um, 
but I don't know, there's something special about Hawaii night dives and like a special when we like bump into all the sharks and all the variety of eels and just how much fun we have out here with that. Um, <laughs> uh, Treb, you can try and message me on uh, TikTok, but we might have the truck sold already. It's a cut. <laughs> my truck's very special. It's been my baby. Uh, it's a custom Dodge Ram. <laughs> and it's got the steppy stools for us super short people. <laughs> um, I would love to do a night dive this weekend, Laura. It depends on conditions. Um, the past few sunset dives we've done, it's, it's um, not murky, but there's a lot of debris in the water and it makes the light really um, refract that light back into the camera. So it makes it really hard for you guys to see what's going on and for us to see more than like five feet in front of us. Um, and it does not look like that debris has cleared up. It definitely looks super hazy on today's dive. Um, but we will be doing night dives before we move. And I'm so sorry. Um, my children will be homeschooled. Yes. Um, they're, I'm really lucky too in the fact that my girls are really social. Um, and they make friends really easily. They're super young, so they're quick to learn. They're not shy and they're really good with change. So this whole prospect of like moving and traveling and flights and everything, like they're super excited. So, uh, they are six and nine years old and they, are the pretty best. yeah they're the best <laughs> <laughs> you're moving from Hawaii yes yeah we're gonna become nomads and travel the world bring dive sites to you guys so that way you guys can see and help us uh, bring light to a lot of these projects that are going on around the world to help restore reefs and protect the oceans and things like that uh, there's uh, and pretty much anywhere there's uh, water there's gonna be a dive shop so we'll get air all around the world. So if you're not following, you definitely want to follow because there's a lot more in store over the next couple of months all around the world. Yeah, you can always definitely check out past dives over on YouTube. Uh, we post them all within about 24 hours or so, as long as we can get TikTok to cooperate. Uh, the YouTube channels, come dive with us. Also, Maui Pose, you can search that as well. <laughs> I know, Heather, we can't wait to travel either. I'm sure a lot of you guys will want to come out with us once you see some of the reefs that are out there in the world. Hawaii is a very special place being in the middle of the Pacific Ocean as far as what we actually get to see here. So this is always going to be home. This is always going to be one of our top favorite places in the world. But there's just so much to see. I know we're going to have to, well, so they're like, you're going to have to change your name. No, I <laughs> That's how you guys are going to know us by Maui Pose. Hey, look, it's the guys from Maui. What the dog doing? Dog's just chilling. Here's beautiful Brittany. Get out of here. All right. Uh, how do I book your tours? Great question, Texas. We do not give tours. I cannot be responsible for anybody's life um, <laughs> other than my own. Uh, if you guys do want to do any tours while you're out here in Hawaii, I highly recommend Maui Diving. We have a link in our bio for them. Um, and again, that's not even like a paid sponsorship or anything. We just recommend them because it's like the only dive shop we go to. We love them. We got Bonnie from Maui Diving over there. Uh, and they do shore dives and they're awesome. <laughs> so, woo! What made you fall in love with the ocean? Um, I did put a story up on that, Kiki. Uh, but actually, I uh, got sober uh, for a while and kind of got bored and gave myself like goals. I mean, if you've been drinking a lot for a while and not really doing anything, um, it's rough. So the day I quit drinking was the day I started kayaking. And then that day we had some humpback whales approach us and jump and reach. And then I was like, oh my God, this is the coolest thing in the whole wide world and never got out of the water again. <laughs> Hola. Oh, but we do have to go, you guys. Um, I'm actually like really hungry out. <laughs> Best way to start diving. Uh, do it. Lining up with a <laughs> dive shop, right? And getting to know a couple instructors out there. And taking, we're leaving. Taking a discovery course. What? Yeah, yeah, we're leaving like right now. Sorry, babe. <laughs> 
Um, getting a good dive shop with a good dive instructor is definitely the best way. You can do a discovery dive, which is like a trial dive. You don't have to sign up for the entire paddy course at first. Um, but I do recommend getting that dive cert because that is going to last the rest of your life. And they are, this is great. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, want a hangry bear? I know. Okay. So I am hangry. I got to go. I got to find some food. I'm starving. Bye everyone. Bye guys. Bye. We are all done. We will see you tomorrow for more dives. Cheers.